Hello, uh, back with a another quick video. A quick video for me at least, I do have a tendency to go on. And I'm gonna be taking a look at the third single to be released from the upcoming Alice in Chains album, Rainier Fog. There's already been two other singles, which is why this is the third. But I missed those and I didn't uh, do anything about them. So I thought I'd do a quick catch up on those as well, because I'm a huge Alice in Chains fan, or at least was back in the day. I'll be honest, I haven't really listened to anything since Lane passed away. I've got no problem with, uh, is it William Duval? I think he's a great front man and uh, he's got a fantastic voice, but um, I am one of those people who kind of just didn't really get back on board. But I am going to correct that with this upcoming album. Rainier Fog will be coming out on August the 24th and it's the follow-up to 2013's The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here. But a quick recap on the first two singles that have been released. Uh, first up we had The One You Know and straight away you got those trademark Alice in Chains components that we all know and love, the, the heavy sludgy riffs, Cantrell's amazing lead work, the vocal harmonies of course, which William uh, Duval does a great job of um, mimicking I suppose. I hate to say that but uh, Alice and James do have a sound that is very recognisable and you can't branch away from that, uh, you know, to give them credit. Yeah, it was a decent enough song. The next one was So Far Under which I enjoyed way more. Um, I could do with a lot more of this. Much heavier riff. The vocal harmonies were very reminiscent of Dirt era Alice in Chains. In fact, if I'd have if I'd have heard this and somebody told me that this was an outtake from the Dirt sessions, I probably wouldn't have questioned it, really. Uh, really strong song. Very, very much enjoyed this one. Which brings us to Never Fade, the third single. Um, starts out with this real heavy snare, along with a kind of a a hard rock riff really and I, now I'll say right away I enjoyed this song a lot but I did not really like this riff it had a kind of dad rock feel to it, 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 it I couldn't really get on board with this riff it sounded a little too yeah but uh, after this it goes into much more traditional Alice in Chains territory real nice riffs and a real great chorus which which I would say for all three of the uh, songs that have been released thus far. Always do a fine chorus, Alice in Chains, which is a pretty important thing in a song. Never far away, I always see you. When it all goes dark, you light my way through. Never fade, I know you think you're someone I forgot. Never fade, I'm everything you really think I'm not. Never fade, I know you think you're someone I forgot. Never fade. Before going back to that opening riff, which again, I just can't really Ugh. There's again some more great lead playing from Cantrell and we get one final chorus which takes us out of the song. As I said, other than that one riff in it, I actually really, really enjoyed this song. Great chorus, very much looking forward to the album. Can't wait for that. I mean, obviously, tremendous shame what happened to Lane Staley. Uh, phenomenal frontman and vocalist, musician. But uh, I do applaud the band for carrying on. Why not? When you've, when you've got such talent, why? Why would you stop, really? Yes, yeah, so three decent songs. All worth checking out if you haven't already. And the album is coming out in two weeks time, which I will be reviewing. And I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, Alice in Chains, great band, great band. And uh, kind of nice to be, nice to be back in that world again. Yes, yeah, so my now overdue review of Death Grips Year of the Snitch will be out in a couple of days time, probably on Tuesday. My next subscriber request will be Wu-Tang. Enter the Wu-Tang. 36 chambers. That will probably be pushed back a little bit, probably to the uh, tail end of the week. And then I'll be looking at what else I've got to do. Not been a huge amount of new music that I've been overly fussed with uh, as of late. But once we get into September, we've got all sorts of good stuff that's coming out. New Clutch album. New High and Fire album is coming out in October, I think it is. Fuck, I think it's the same day as uh, Behemoth's new album. That's gonna be a great weekend. Really looking forward to that. Hell of a lot of good albums still to come out this year. I'm gonna be reviewing them all. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. If you are subscribed, share. If you wanna comment, comment. If you actually like the video, like it. Just press the button, mate. It's not that hard. No, seriously, it really, really does help boost the videos and uh, helps get me seen so if you like the video please like the video but yes I will be back in a couple of days with my death grips review finally